Did you know the MiG-21's ejection seat was once directly linked to its canopy? In the early MiG-21 models, the ejection seat, called the SK-1, was designed to be ejected with the canopy during ejection. Why was this important? Because the canopy acted as a windbreak, shielding the pilot from the high-speed airflow outside, crucial during the initial moments of ejection. But there was a big problem with this design, if the pilot needed to eject at low altitudes, the canopy didn't always detach quickly enough. And if it didn't, the pilot could face serious risks. The minimum safe ejection altitude for the MiG-21 was just 110 meters, meaning the canopy had to separate in a fraction of a second. If it didn't, the canopy could strike the pilot, or the force of the ejection could cause injury before the seat even cleared the aircraft. Unfortunately, this flaw led to some tragic incidents in the early years of the MiG-21's service. But in the MiG-21 PFM, things took a turn for the better. The Soviet engineers introduced a new ejection seat design, the K-36D. This new design didn't rely on the canopy to protect the pilot. Instead, it featured an improved ejection system that ensured faster and more reliable separation, even at low altitudes. The K-36D was faster, more reliable, and provided better protection against high-speed winds, allowing pilots to eject safely from lower altitudes. Thanks to this innovation, pilot safety improved dramatically, and the MiG-21 became one of the most successful and widely used fighter jets in history. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe.